first. Okay. Let's jump into this. Find out if fucking thing better let me stay live. Did that go in here, Mr. Marston? I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland. Don't call me a fool. I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Nah. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Yeah, the leader of the gang taught me how to read taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, <laughs> Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? 
No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Oh. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Yeah! How are you, Miss McFarland? Fucking cows are stubborn. Whoa there. Come. This way, you fucker. Oh my fucking god, I can't Go. do this. Fuck it, I'm done. Uh uh. Fucking ass going. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Come on. Another one. Is it too much of a storm to ride with me? Nail it down. All right, let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Two hundred forty dollars. Two hundred forty-five.
All right. Tough one, ain't you? Get this one. This is coyotes up there at my horse. Come on, Marston. Hurry the fuck up. I'm a wanted goddamn fucking man. I'm not already doing that last mission. I'm fucking not. because I know what they're going to have me do. Okay, I don't have to do that. Well, hello, Never Mr. Mind. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So... My daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. We had drought, we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I bury more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. 
But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch has said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman... How are you going to break a wild horse if you can't ride a tame Yeah! I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. God damn it. Yeah. Shut up, Miss McFarland. Oh. 
Okay, well, whatever. What the fuck ever. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Hang on to him. You must keep them close, Mr. Marston. I'm coming. Don't lose him. Easy. I got you. Fucking horse. Come on, come on, fun. come on. Nearly there. Try not to spook him too much. This don't feel too good. You'll have this in no time. Relax now. Come on. Come on. Nearly got, got it. it, Mr. Marshall. You're a regular Bronco fucking sea boy. <laughs> nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. Come on, Bonnie. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Bustin' Bronco? That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Only kill them when they shoot at me. Go already, Bonnie. Fucking A. Come on, boy. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come I'm on, not lashing in. Let's head for Armadillo. Oh, come on. Careful. You almost knocked me clean off. You never did tell Good. me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a cat. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead! Yeah. Let's drive them up the canyon, where it narrows. We'll trap them there. They need Come to on. fucking get up here and help. Yo. Stay together, you dumb animals. Easy. Oh. 
Chasing these stupid fucking wild horses all over the goddamn fucking place. Let's go. gonna do is run in fucking circles. We can sick the car of this fucking stallion. help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Yeah, it doesn't even have a fucking saddle, though. <laughs> I'm sure I gotta purchase the saddle though.
This ain't the way. No, fucking can't be the way. I guess I'll find out if I'm going the right way or not. and he fell right into Jorge's gap. Hey there! Well, hello! I don't even have that much. That's how most of this stuff ends up here. Thanks for the visit. That's gonna have to do for now. There ain't nothing else I can do there. I don't know what that does. Info. Special dark brown horse with a light mane. Faster and stronger than normal. Okay, well. I don't know where to... Okay. I'll bring him in alive then. I got work to do. Don't have time for this racket. How nice to see. 
Please tell me you have a fucking saddle. No? That's my dark brown horse. I wonder where the, I was wondering where the hell he got to. Let's go. Come on. Okay. We're gonna try to sneak in on this fucker. Surrounded. Let's go in there and Go horse. Shut up, no annoying the horse. Come on. I don't let many a fella tell his tail. Get the trap. Played, yeah. yeah. I guess. 
He was wanted dead or alive, so. You had to take your last bow. Did I not kill him? Gun done learn today. Dog is slow as fuck, though. Move your fucking dog, or I'll skin you. Dog, that's my house. Get the fuck out of there. Come on, doggo. Oh, where the fuck are you taking me?
Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood?
Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. Let's go. We don't have much time. Whoa there! That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look careful. We can't afford to fall. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. The pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back.
day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Come on, boys. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister.
Took him. Find your little boy. We will go fucking find. Don't to worry, man. Don Marsh job. That's this way somewhere. I may have went to the wrong place, so. Oh, yeah. This is. What the hell do you want? Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Hey. I mean, it's a bargain at twice the price. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go, then, partner. Good luck out here. Calm down, cowboy. Actually, before we can go there, we have to head over here and find that lady's little boy. I wasn't going to take it by force. I had the money. So I bought it. And it gave me the deed. So Come on. I mean regardless of however it went down. This way. Let's go. You 
just a young lad. Don't you worry. Things will go find you, little lad. I ain't out here to gather you fucking horses up. Be up there then. We're gonna have to find a way up there. up here I need to see if I mean if I'm even going the right fucking way over here There's a boat. I'd hate to think the worst. Oh, I don't want to take that bad news back. really not the news I want to hear, but... Technically... I know that it's up this way, so... Has to be, right? I mean, I'll, I'll deliver the bad news to her then. Come on. I, mean, I don't really want to, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, though, right? Put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. You're not 
Now listen, I didn't want to give that much money up. Or what? I clearly have to go deliver bad news to this poor mother down here that her son is dead. No one ever wants to deliver bad news. See, this bad news is something I don't really want to deliver at all. Where's that woman go? Where'd you go? I'll go talk to the sheriff. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Huh? <laughs> will you help me? I'll try. It'd be my pleasure. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked to bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Everybody dismount and follow me. Yeah. Oh, now. Whoa. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. 
And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Twins got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why do man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him. Guess a whistle! Fuck it, eh? Fucking got shot and killed. Come on, up the hill. Let's blaze our way to that ridge. Marshall's by himself. Stop that they help you are, Marshall. These rustlers make me sick. I hope nothing's happened to the Marshal. He ain't no colt no more. Nah, he'll outlive all of us. Melt the last, that fella. From what I've seen, he can take care of himself. Sure does. 
there still ain't a better shot in all of Chalice Springs. At least that's what he keeps telling us. Oh, no! You've got him good! Let's push on to the bridges. Out here. I'm gonna beat the lot of you. I'm the best looks good as far as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Apologies, mister. Get the fuck up. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli.
Okay. Mister, she's gone. Who is? My wife, she's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Bring it up, soldier. Try and find her. I mean, if she's out here. Yeah. Marston will find her. Let me see here. Easy. I'm gonna turn, go up this one. Yeah, I've been over here once. Search for clothes. Yes, I should. No. Come on. Whoa.
ain't going to flying him yet. Technically, on not on my to-do list. Have you, Mr. Top Hat? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine was drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. I'm gonna hog tie him and throw him off the cliff. Well, are you gonna do what I ask? Go! Just so happens to be, I'm going this way. Technically, I think it would be classed as a pub, but... I don't even want to go all the way over here. Come on. I mean... What brings you out this way? What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to I wanna bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. 
Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Don't let the grass grow under your feet. Looks like people left here in a hurry. All right, let me see if I can't find any more. Fucking see him. I mean, I clearly... You know, fucking solemn standing there. Like, they weren't hidden or anything. Go, oh, you think you'd help me? No, no, not at all. You guys are gonna try to kill me and rob me. I need my horse. Be able to cover a lot more ground. Fucking horse. Find these fucking flowers. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. That's one. Actually, that's two. Come on. Now we have two of them.
Who the fuck do you think you are shooting at me? First of all. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Or are constantly shooting at me. Everywhere I fucking go. One more. I can't find any here. I think I know where to we'll find some. Come on. Oh Lord, help! I'm being hit at. Up free. Thank you so much. You should stay away from men like that. Look out. Pardon me, sir. Come on, you fucking horse. Let's go. I know where a lot of these are. It's just that I have to backtrack. Let's go. I don't know if it shows me on the map. Like, I know they're in the fields here, just need to locate them. Of course, I gotta harvest these. Oh, a man out of the country survives. Let's make this quick. I think the final one. 
I don't even know how I shot him. Like it was a blind shot. Come on. Let's get like, this over with. You know. Hey okay, horse, let's go. Okay, so I think I got all of them that I need now. Let's go. In this case I don't, there is another This looks like the one. Like, isn't there, like, someone that wanted all these? Whatever. I don't know where the fuck he's at now, but... I do know that I think he was down here farther. Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. <laughs> Don't mention it. Go on now.
Well, I don't know where that one guy got to now, so... now you'll get along fine here son now get gone glad to be of assistance See if it's raining out. Looks to be done. your ass over here. Here I am. How about I make you famous? All you gotta do is agree to a duel. Die! Someone needs to teach you okay. some respect. Okay, cowboy.
there, you'll be needing this. Careful. Well, I guess they're, he's not open yet. I gotta do is go over for a drink. Damn it all. Get that. Careful, partner. Now they're open. Let me know if you need any help. I'm here, sir. Hello. Okay, I got some shelf space needs filling. Another satisfied customer. Nice doing business with you. Spread the word. There. That's what I got. I'm gonna have to go over for a drink. Hey there! Oh, oh. I'm gonna go save it. It's not my house. Howdy. I will start up another one here.